Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Dick van Oeveren and in this fourth video of Aruba's Dynamic Segmentation series I will give you an overview of the options that you have with Dynamic Segmentation. If you haven't seen the first three videos and want to know everything about user roles, user-based tunneling and port-based tunneling, check out the playlist and enjoy watching the other videos. Let's put all of the scenarios together, starting with port-based tunneling. This is the setup, pretty straightforward as you can see. On the switch there is a simple configuration, the switch only needs to know where it can find the uh, Aruba mobility controllers and port based tunneling has to be enabled on the individual ports. And that's all for the switches. The Aruba mobility controllers are just configured in the same way as you would configure the wireless infrastructure. And no worries, in a later video I will show you exactly how this is done. For now, we are only focusing on how it works from a high level perspective. The role with ClearPass, uh, the role of ClearPass with port based tunneling is to accommodate the security functions for the Aruba mobility controllers. There is no security enforcement on the switches. So this also means no user roles on the switches. Now let me show you the process. When a device connects to a port with port based tunneling enabled, the tunnel to the Aruba mobility controller is established. As said, the security enforcement takes place on the controller, so any authentication, authorization and accounting is enforced there. Once the device is authenticated and authorized, the appropriate role is assigned and the device gains access to its resources. And that's all there is to it. Very straightforward and simple as said. With user-based tunneling you have a lot more options. Let me give you an overview of the components with user-based tunneling. They're actually very much the same as with port-based tunneling. The main difference is that with user-based tunneling we can start working with user roles on the switches because authentication, authorization and accounting now takes place on the switch instead of the mobility controller. As said in the first video, you can choose between local user roles and downloadable user roles. Let's start with local user roles. In this case, the user role is configured locally on the switches. With user-based tunneling, there is already a control plane connection between the switches and the mobility controllers. When a device connects to a port, the authentication request is sent to ClearPass. When the request is accepted, ClearPass returns a radius vendor specific attribute containing the name of the user role that is configured on the switch. The switch now knows that it has to apply the local user role to that device. If there is no secondary user role defined on the switch, the traffic stays locally on the switch. There is no tunnel established to the controller. This means that if you want to assign a VLAN or an ACL to the device, this configuration has to exist on the switch. So if you want to assign, say, VLAN 120 to that device, this VLAN has to be configured on the switch. If you want to assign a policy with the local user role, this policy has to exist in the configuration of the switch. This can result in large configuration files and might become a cumbersome task to manage. Hence, it might be a better option to use downloadable user roles for this. But more about downloadable user roles later in the video. We still have to cover the secondary user role when deploying a local user role. Remember that the secondary user role defines whether you create a tunnel to a mobility controller. If that secondary user role name exists in the user role, then a tunnel is automatically created to the controller. The name of the secondary user role is the name of the role that exists on the mobility controller. Once the tunnel is established, that user role on the controller is also enforced and with that role the device can use the additional services that are supported on the Aruba mobility controllers like a stateful firewall and web reputation service. When a second device connects to the same port, like another sensor, the same authentication process takes place. ClearPass will identify the device, 
perform the profiling, and then assign the appropriate role by sending the user role name a vendor specific attribute back to the switch. For this device, a separate tunnel is established to the Aruba Mobility Controller. The good thing about separate tunnels is that if you have multiple devices on a switch using user roles, uh, these devices cannot communicate with each other on that switch. There is a proper device isolation. All the communication has to go through the controllers. Now you might think that the mobility controllers become a choke point if you have thousands of tunnels being terminated at the controller, but in real life this is not the case. It is really easy to scale up to a high-speed mobility controller that supports up to 80 gig inspected throughput. And you can also cluster up to 12 controllers in a single cluster for load balancing. Imagine the performance that you can achieve. And this is all inspected traffic, which means that this is the throughput when you apply a stateful layer 4 firewall on the controllers. I will cover uh, the scalability in one of the next videos. The most important thing is, is that you don't have to worry about performance. There are no issues from that perspective. Now back to the scenarios. We still have to cover the downloadable user roles. The process with downloadable user roles is very similar, but there are some subtle differences. Let's have a look at the process. Um, a device connects to the switch and the switch sends a request to ClearPass. Now instead of having a local user role, the user role and configuration exists on ClearPass. It is actually the CLI configuration of a user role on the switch, but it is an object in ClearPass. With a local user role, ClearPass would push a vendor specific attribute. With a downloadable user role, an SSL connection is established between ClearPass and the switch and the user role configuration is downloaded dynamically onto the switch. Now that the switch has the user role in its memory, it can apply the role to the device. And the same as with local user roles, when the downloadable user role contains the secondary user role, a tunnel is established to the Aruba Mobility Controller. One other thing to mention is that downloadable user roles are dynamic. They are not stored in the configuration of the switch, but they are stored in memory. This means that when you reboot the switch, the downloadable user role information is gone. Because the downloadable user roles are not stored in the configuration, this keeps the switch configuration clean and simple, which is a big advantage. The other advantage of downloadable user roles is that you have a central place of configuration, a single repository where all the local user roles are configured and security enforcement takes place. Now we still have one last scenario, and that is the dynamic secondary user role. With a static secondary user role, that secondary user role configuration has to exist on the Aruba Mobility Controller. With a dynamic secondary user role, that secondary user role does not exist on the controller anymore, but is also configured on ClearPass. Now here's how it works. Again, the process for authentication is the same. However, when ClearPass pushes the dynamic secondary user role, it asks the switch to tell the Aruba Mobility Controller to download the secondary user role from ClearPass and in the animation you can see how this works. So now that you know all the various options and scenarios, the next step is to understand how it all fits together. But that's a subject for the next video, where I will be talking about dynamic segmentation architecture, including things like load balancing and resiliency. Another great thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, ideas or questions, let us know. And subscribing to the ABC channel will get you through the day working with the Aruba solutions that are available to you. See you later and have a great day.